I paid for a round in a bar in Namidabashi. It's the kind of place that allows people to stare at each other with equality. The threshold below which every man is as good as any other and knows it. He told me about the jetty on Fogo, in the Cape Verde Islands. How long have they been there, waiting for the boat? Patient as pebbles, but ready to jump. They are a people of wanderers, of navigators, of world travelers. They fashioned themselves through crossbreeding here on these rocks that the Portuguese used as a marshalling yard for their colonies. A people of nothing, a people of emptiness, a vertical people. Frankly, have you ever heard of anything stupider than to say to people as they teach in film schools not to look at the camera? He used to write to me, the Sahel is not only what is shown of it when it is too late. It's a land that drought seeps into like water into a leaking boat. The animals resurrected for the time of a carnival in Bissau will be petrified again, as soon as a new attack has changed the savannah into a desert. This is a state of survival that the rich countries have forgotten, with one exception. You win Japan. My constant comings and goings are not a search for contrasts. They're a journey to the two extreme poles of survival.